I would like to tell you a little bit about my final project uh, called Machine Learning for Trading Reloaded because it is about the second edition about my book Hands-On Machine Learning for Algorithmic Trading that I published uh, about a year ago. Um, it has almost 700 pages, 21 chapters uh, and a lot of Jupyter notebooks that illustrate how you can use machine learning for trading strategies. So um, the book came out a year ago and the publication was a little bit rushed, so there were a few things missing. And uh, that, together with the feedback that I gained over time, um, made it a very good opportunity to use this uh, class to get some structured input to systematically improve the, the book so that the learning experience uh, for readers uh, is better. And uh, both from the uh, research phase at the beginning and my overall interaction with readers uh, let me uh, think basically two different areas of attack. One is to address one of the key challenges, which is to integrate and properly uh, sort of bridge the two dom domains of uh, machine learning on the one hand and investment and trading on the other hand. Um, that are you know, both fairly complex and challenging in, in their own right. Uh, but of course, to be successful in this area, you need to be fairly knowledgeable in both. So um, the, the, the goal was to make it easier for, for readers to kind of uh, ingest or digest uh, you know, these two different aspects. And the, um, the aspects of the workflow that we'll see in a minute uh, where this um, is most relevant is actually the backtesting of strategies. So that's, uh, this is a big focus of uh, the second edition to emphasize uh, these aspects a little more. And another aspect was to, um, because there was actually quite a bit of engagement from readers, to give them a platform where they can uh, access additional uh, um, content in the form of exercises and case studies or, uh, you know, through registration, uh, get access to maybe exclusive content uh, and also to interact with each other um, uh, either by commenting and interacting with content or through forums with each other. So the two goals for the book was on the one hand uh, improve uh, the content and uh, give it more focus in the direction I mentioned and on the other hand to give it a social online aspect beyond the book itself. So. To give you a little bit more context, uh, here's one of the charts that uh, I've developed for one of the new chapters that I wrote in the last few weeks that lays out the overall machine learning for trading workflow. And it's just at a high level to make clear that it covers many different aspects or has many moving parts. And it starts, of course, with different data sources and how you work with those to ensure that they really only reflect information that was available at the time. Um, um, when you know you would use the data to train a strategy or to train, train a machine learning model uh, and then of course it deals with how you extract um, signals from this data by engineering smart features and how you can use those as input for machine learning models which models to choose how to train them how to evaluate them but then further down the road, how to uh, utilize the predictions of the model to actually formulate trading logic um, in terms of selecting specific assets and then building a portfolio out of these different uh, assets that seem, seem attractive. And then of course you go through the cycle uh, of continuously updating your data, updating your models, getting new predictions and managing the portfolio. So you see already that you straddle these two areas of the technical machine learning and data uh, side and on the other side, you're in the market and have to be aware of um, how this dynamic unfolds. And this is essentially exactly how these two different uh, skill sets and um, domains uh, interact here. So what have we achieved so far? Um, I've worked on seven chapters from two to eight that basically cover this um, this workflow once. Uh, so you might wonder what else is in the book. Uh, the book actually then covers a bunch of different machine learning techniques uh, all the way to reinforcement learning and deep learning, but also natural language processing. So it covers a bunch of different machine learning techniques, but by um, covering these seven chapters, it allows me to once kind of lay out this end-to-end -end process of you know getting your data, training your models, coming up with a strategy and actually testing if it works. So um, this uh, covers 
200, 220 pages, so a little under a third of the book. Um, but these are sort of complete, so that's kind of what I've achieved in, in this project to, to uh, review and update and actually write also quite a bit of new content uh, for this book. So that's, on, that's one thing, so actual writing and production of content. Um, then there's of course also code involved, so uh, here are also, uh, here's uh, refreshed, updated and also new code that's already on my publisher's website or GitHub repo. Um, and it contains a bunch of different pieces. Um, some are new. Um, for instance, chapter eight, as I said, is completely new. That introduces uh, Zipline and Backtrader. That are two popular libraries uh, for backtesting. And there's only limited resources available, especially for Zipline. Uh, so it uh, explains in great detail how you um, how you you know get access to different data sources and then train machine learning models either outside of the backtester or as part of the backtesting process itself. And it also shows you how to patch the library and you know, work with the source code to add some functionality that's missing. So, so there's quite a bit of uh, content um, on the code side. And um, then there's also something has happened on the website and uh, that's live at ML. Uh, for trading.io and this presents uh, for now only the content that is available in those uh, seven chapters but it illustrates where the journey hopefully will go so right now it really just lay, lays out kind of what's what's available like an expanded table of content and here in the end where we get to the new um, section here's one link that works and that shows you some of the code examples. So um, right now it's just a static uh, notebook that's displayed. Uh, the idea is to add more comments, maybe make it dynamic and um, walk students uh, through this whole, whole process. This is one of those backtesting examples where we come up with a bunch of different factors that we then combine and feed into a machine learning pipeline that as the backtest runs on a daily basis, updates the model produces new predictions and uh, then our trading logic um, uses these predictions to rebalance the portfolio and constantly enter new positions as a result of or in response to these predictions. So this is kind of a pipeline that runs and trains the model and then here we evaluate the, um, the, the iWorks performance. In this case we have a strategy, the green line is the cumulative return of the strategy um, so it did reasonably well for much of the period, but in the end it uh, declines and ends up very similar to the, to the benchmark um, that happens. Um, but so one of the, the things that I also integrated is a little discussion forum here. That's of course very rudimentary, but you know, the goal is to build this out once there's more content uh, available. So in sum, um, I think uh, progress has, has been good um, in that I was able to incorporate quite a few um, of the learnings from the, the research phase to improve the sort of instructional side of things. And uh, generally, I think, came up with some interesting content. Um, the website has not progressed as much as I might have wanted, but um, thinking about it today, it's also much easier probably to do this once the content is complete. So I expect to, to keep producing one new chapter every week until the book goes live in March, April. That's the planned publication date for the second edition. And uh, in February, March, I'll also start and enhance or enrich the, the website uh, once there's enough material to start presenting this. And um, I think we'll still see this um, come to fruition as, as expected. So thank you very much. This is kind of uh, where I stand and I uh, hope you found it informative and thank you very much for your attention.